what's up and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be giving a review for the NECA Predator 30th Anniversary Jungle Encounter Dutch figure. So this is yet another Dutch figure from NECA, you know, based on the original Predator film. Which I have right here on uh, Blu-ray. And like I said, plenty of times before, you know, I actually saw this in the theater with my parents, like back in 1987. And I believe I was eight years old, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think I was even nine yet. Kind of the next year, I would have turned ten. I know this was released, like, you know, in the summertime, you know. But yeah, and this has always been one of my all-time, like, favorite films, too, as well. Like I said, my third favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger film, right after the uh, Terminator 2. And then the original Terminator, I have Predator as my third favorite uh, Schwarzenegger film. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get into this right now her so as you can see this here is the box that contains the figure now one of the things i want to touch on right quick too is this real this figure was already actually like released just like some of the other dutch figures from NECA but it was part of like the 25th anniversary edition you know whereas the version i have is actually like the 30th anniversary edition so as you can see these other dutch figures also have that too as well see all the boxes they all had these kind of uh styling is you know their boxes were 30th anniversary so i just wanted to get out of shot because it's actually six figures in total which had that 30th anniversary like a uh, logo on it you know so yeah this figure was already previously released it was like the 25th anniversary edition but as you can see this is the uh, figure inside the box you can see the accessories that dutch has and it says a uh, jungle hunter i mean jungle encounter dutch and of course it has 30th anniversary on the side and of course you can see an image of the figure on the back too as well with the other figures that I just mentioned that was part of like 30th anniversary wave and of course it has like a scripture too as well on the back it says uh run go get to the chopper <laughs> it says deep in the central american jungle the predator is hunting humans for sport arm with his plasma caster wrist blades and cloaking technology the predator methodically stalks and kills the opponents he deems worthy. The jungle hunter predator collects the skulls and spines of his victims as trophies and skins his prey, leaving the bodies hanging from the trees. When a special forces team is dispatched on a rescue mission, they soon become the predator's prey. Now this says it includes M16 with grenade launcher, pistol, knife, and over 20 points of articulation. So I'm going to open this up right now. As you can see here, this here is the background, thermal vision, you know, that kind of always comes with them. It's her. Okay, as you can see, there's the uh, NECA Jungle Encounter Dutch figure. So what I'm going to do is actually just go ahead and measure him right quick. And just like the usual ones, you know, he's just like 7 inches, like over 7 inches in height, you know. Now, I must admit, this was the Dutch figure that I did always originally wanted to actually get, you know, and I'm just not actually picking this one up, you know. So, yeah, I, I guess I'll touch on this articulation first. So, as you can see, there's, like, the figure. Now, I must admit, this might be, uh, the best-looking, uh, likeness to Arnold Schwarzenegger I have seen on a, a Dutch figure from NECA. Even though they all have, like, the same facial sculpts and so on, I believe this one kind of looks more like him. For my opinion, you know, I like how you even can like the uh, muscularity in him too. Because at this point, he just has on like this vest right here, you know. You even can set the striations like an Arnold's like chest and so on. I think that's kind of awesome. Even like some of his abs, you know, like abdominals, even like the biceps or like the vascularity, and, like the veins. I think that's kind of cool, you know, like the veins and stuff. Even on the sides, you can set like his obliques too, as well, like his abdominal obliques. I think that's kind of cool. But like I say, what I think NECA really does good with these are like the, like the actual posture. This really does like on sports NECA, like just his body alone, like his head and so on. But as you can see, he has on like the usual pants, like the holsters for his guns and knives. So all that stays the same, you know, from like the other uh, releases, you know, that they have, you know. Like, you know, his head can like rotate all around, he can look to the side, you know. He doesn't really look up, you know, kind of can look down, but not too much, you know. Oh, yeah, he does stand. Uh, they all stand very well. I'm connecting these standing pretty good, you know. As you can see, you can lift the arms up. You can split. He has a bend at the elbow, too. Hands can rotate. And 
And of course, as usual, he has the watch on his hand too as well, which I think is pretty cool. Kind of has like an ab crunch too. And of course, the leg can be lifted up too as well. You can bend them too. Articulation is always pretty good. And these, uh, these Dutch figures, you know, I think they are pretty good, you know. Now, one of the things I do know about this too, and I've actually even seen it like in the person's video, you can actually take some Dutch's like vest off too as well. So I think I'm, I'm thinking about giving it a try and see. I tried taking it off, but I just left it on like it's best, you know, because I don't want to like damage the figure. But it is, uh, we, you can not take it off, you know. But again, I do like the, uh, the detail, like an honors, like muscularity. Like I say, you can set the striations like in his chest and so on right there. I think that's kind of awesome, you know. That looks cool. Got the detail, even like the muscularity, like in his back and stuff, you know. And that's awesome. I'm already impressed with this figure. This might become my favorite uh, Dutch figure, you know, from Nakahar. Now what I want to do is actually talk about Dutch's like uh, accessories. As usual, he gets like the M16 with the grenade launcher. It's the same like a Zack machine gun. Now one of the things I think is kind of cool about them always giving us the same weapons is you actually can give this one to like another Dutch figure back if, like if one broke or if one you lose one, you know, you have like a bunch of these, you know, that you could give to like the, uh, the other figure, you know. So I think that's kind of cool that we always get that particular weapon, you know. And of course, as used, you can actually, uh, you can even hand this round Dutch, you know, if you want. So you can't like put it like on his back, on his back, you know. That's how you kind of have a mind displayed at times. And there, as you can see, it's Dutch with the M16 in his hand. That usually hold it pretty well too, you know. Mm -hmm. And the next accessory that comes with the Dutch figure, as usual, is just as like a knife, as you can see right here. He always comes with this knife, like I said, which I think is cool, you know. And of course, you can actually take his knife and uh, holster it too as well, like, like right down the side. That's what I kind of actually used to do with him, you know, I just put him like in the, uh, the holster. And while I got inside. <laughs> now the next and last accessory as usual that comes with Dutch is his actual pistol, as you can see. The same usual like pistol. And there's Dutch holding the pistol. Now I must admit you do actually kind of got to loosen these, you know. It's actually going to get it in there, you know. Mm -hmm. And as usual, you can always holster a Dutch's pistol right here too as well. If you just lift this up, this belt thing, you can just take his pistol and uh, Host it right inside, right there. Now this thing, it has like a button on it for it to button up, you know. But I always just kind of like just leave it open, you know. <laughs> okay, as you can see here is like the, uh, the Predator figures I have so far. Like based on the original Predator, I have like the uh, Predator Ultimate Jungle Hunter. The uh, Jungle Briefing Dutch, 30th Anniversary, 30th Anniversary Jungle Extraction Dutch, 30th Anniversary Jungle Encounter Dutch, 30th Anniversary Jungle Disguise Dutch. Awesome collection, you know. <laughs> right. Okay, there's the Necker Jungle Encounter Dutch figure, 30th Anniversary version. And I must admit, this is an awesome figure. This is probably my favorite, uh... NECA Dutch figure now, you know, I do like how you can actually see like arms like muscularity more in it And this is actually removable because I actually have seen like a, another person take it off, you know So I know that it actually is removable, you know, but you know this is based on the, uh, the original Predator from From 1987 and like I said plenty of times before I actually saw this in the theaters with my parents, you know And I think I was eight years old if I'm not mistaken because I know I turned ten the next year, you know but I think I was still actually only eight I hadn't turned nine yet, you know and this has always been one of my all-time like, favorite films. Like I said, my third favorite uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger film, you know, right after uh, Terminator 2, then the original Terminator, and then Predator, you know. But yeah, I definitely recommend picking this now. One of the things I think is kind of cool about it, you know, 
is uh, I know some people were kind of like, you know, weren't actually interested in picking up all these Dutch figures because they actually are the same like figure like kind of over and over, but they are actually changing how he was going, how he was looking in the film. They're actually changing like his clothes, you know, so it kind of makes sense to get them. And one thing that I think is kind of cool about it is like the actual weapons, you know, so if you ever lose like one of like, like your knives or pistol or your machine gun, you know, you actually can actually just share one from like another one, you know, <laughs> if you want to go through the house to actually buy like a whole another one, you know. But anyway, I would definitely recommend picking this one up, you know, this is the NECA Predator 30th Anniversary Edition Jungle Encounter Dutch figure. Please leave a comment and uh, subscribe to it as well. If it bleeds, we can kill it.